Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Guess who's back? To Harlem. <laughs> New New York City, City, Big Apple, home of the gritty, gritty. Mocker X6, New York City, City. Manhattan. Sergio, we all know what you love gardening. So this week I did not go and get my manicure because I knew I was going farming and you get your hands nice and dirty. But Sergio out here is like, oh my God, I got a manicure. But this time, Sergio picked up his hoe and of course, duh guys, I mean the garden tool and went to work at the Mandela Community Garden on 126th Street in Harlem. This is how you plant stuff. I'm I am a professional, so make sure y'all pay attention. All right? This is soft. Are you catching this? I like to take my time. It's named after South Africa's Nelson Mandela, and I learned that he was a gardener. Right now, it doesn't look like much, just a bunch of rubble and dirt, but here's a look at it at its peak. It was a major grassroots effort from people all over Harlem to turn what was just a vacant lot into a beautiful wildflower escape. But now this community feels like they were slapped in the face, finding out through a newspaper article that the city sold their beloved garden to a developer. There are actually hundreds of other sites where the city could place these developments. They don't have to put it on a vacant piece of land. It's one of more than a dozen community gardens the city said would be raised to make way for affordable housing. You know, what we want to do is we want to put the dirt back, right? Nice and soft. Now, the Mandela Community Garden has posted an online petition, and Renee Calvo, who oversees the garden, says it's a breath of fresh air for the community and a learning resource for the children. We have a lot of children coming in here, and a lot of the kids that we see in Harlem have two words. They have flower and tree. A, who pays for it? B, what tax revenue comes from a vacant lot? Nothing. I mean, you really want to help the community and bring it back. you got to get rateables in there. you got to get people generating revenue. Uh, you know, move the garden. To where? To where? Wait, to where? Hudson River? These people well, went in and had to uh, break up the concrete and they made it beautiful. They made something that was nothing into a, a piece of paradise for them. What happens to our taxpayer dollars when these kids, you know, turn the wrong way? They don't have outlets. They don't have resources. Right. Do you think that crime's going to go up because I'm there's sorry, no rock garden? Example. When you grow up in these neighborhoods, and I don't think you have, when you look forward to something like that and it's taken away from you, it changes your whole entire life. I don't deny the emotion of that. So, I'm saying that the, the mayor, the city has to think of the bigger picture. You know, I think about the kids. That's what I think about. Because I was, I was one of those kids, so. Aww. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> cut it out, cut it out.